Hi everyone, I'm really excited to share with you another custom die that I designed with Accucut Craft Custom Shape Pros. As many of you know, I love coffee and I love to give gift cards from my local coffee shop um, to my family and friends throughout the year. And so I designed this really fun coffee cup here. And it's about 8 inches in height, so it's a really nice size cup. You can see the crease line right here because I designed three different lids um, to go on top of this cup. I wanted to also be able to create one as hot chocolate. So this is, I call my hot chocolate lid. It can also be for coffee as well. So it goes on top like that. And then this lid right here is for latte. So I love my mocha latte. So this goes on top right there, and that's what that lid looks like. And you can see the crease lines right here, in the lid. And this is also a crease line right here. And then this is for my coffee. So that's what that lid looks like. And then it just goes on top like so. And of course I had to create also a coffee sleeve. And this is using some really nice thick craft cardstock. So when you put the sleeve around the coffee cup, this is what it looks like. And then you would put this, oh, let's put this one on top. And that's what it looks like all together. I wanted to design something um, to put my gift cards in rather than just putting it in a regular envelope. I thought it would be super fun to put it in a coffee cup. So um, when you pull down the sleeve, you would see the gift card right here. And there's three different ways that you can um, add the gift card to this. You can either use the repositional tape or you can create a little pocket, which I'll put the dimensions down below. And then you can also use that Stampin' Up! punch to hold the gift card as well. And I'll put that information also down below. So let me share with you um, some of the ones that I've already decorated. And I also wanted to create this also as a mini album too because I always go to um, Starbucks either with my sister or with Arlene and we take pictures and it's really fun to um, scrapbook that as well and create that into a mini album. And so this one is supposed to be hot chocolate. And thank you so much, Joe, for the inspiration on the cocoa pack here. So I use the paper collection by Recollections, which is the ballet collection. And I just dress my edges with the frayed burlap. As you can see here on the lid here, I use the design paper that was brown to symbolize the hot chocolate. And then I add this design paper down below. I use the butterflies for my Martha Stewart punch to symbolize marshmallows because I had a butterfly right here. So you can use pretty much any punch in any shape to make the marshmallows. And I thought it was just really cute to do it that way. Now here's the um, candy cane. So it fits nicely, a little candy cane and then a pack of hot chocolate. And then you can put the gift card behind it as well. And then the sleeve, let's pull the sleeve down. What I did to the sleeve was I purchased this corrugated board that I got at my local craft store and I layered it with the design paper. Then I just dressed the edges with a frayed burlap and then that's what the back looks like. For the bottom trim is some pink trim and then this is a stamped image um, from the greeting farm which is Miss Anya. I thought she was perfect because she was wearing this um, snow gear and I paper pieced her with the same paper collection and then I colored her in with my Copic markers. For her earmuffs I used this glitter that I got from Joann's and then the sentiment says friends are the marshmallows in the cocoa of life and then this is a cute little um, punch from my Martha Stewart punch which is a little bow and this oval punch is from my Stampin' Up! punch which is a large, large oval punch and then this is a sentiment, a digi sentiment. And I'll put that information down below as well. And then these are just some Michael's picks that I purchased um, in the Christmas section. And I just basically just layered it right on top of one another. So this is a little green leaf. 
Um, this is a pink glittered leaf. And then these are just some little cute glittered um, little balls here. And then this is a really gorgeous butterfly that I found also there. Um, and I thought it was just would be really pretty with this paper collection. And so it just tucks in like that. And then you just put your cocoa pack back in there. And then your little candy cane. And the back side here, I left the back side with the design paper that doesn't have any image because this is where I'm going to write my little note on the back. And so I, it just makes really a great gift to give to somebody. And so that's the hot chocolate. And then this one is coffee. Um, my husband loves coffee. And this paper collection is the Recollections Naughty and Nice. And then this is the coffee lid right here. And then again, I just dress the edges with the frayed burlap. Um, for this sleeve, I use the Coffee Inn from the Greening Farm. And then again, the corrugated board and layered it with the design paper. I paper pieced his outfit again using the same design paper and then I colored him in with my Copic markers. This trim right here is some black trim that I got from Hobby Lobby and then these again are just some Michaels picks that I just layered one on top of another and then this sentiment is from my Joanne stamp. It says you're the cream in my coffee and then I just stressed it with my Tim Holtz dressing tool and then with a frayed burlap. And then it just tucks in like so. So I'm going to put the gift card in the center. And again, the back of the design paper um, I left without design so I can write this um, message back there as well. And so that's the coffee one. And then this one is the latte one because I love my mocha latte. So this design paper is from the Oak Christmas Tree Collection um, by Recollections. And then um, this is the latte lid. You can see little crease lines here. And again, just dressed it with a frayed burlap. And let me show you what I mean by the gift card. So when you pull down the sleeve, there's the gift card. And I just used some repositional tape so it doesn't tear the design paper. And then on this lid, again, the corrugated board. I layered it with the design paper. This image I got from All That Scraps. And thank you, Joe. For introducing me to these stamps. This is Kiki Latte. I paper pieced her with the same design paper and then colored her in with my Copic markers. For the trim here, this is that Maya Road tool trim in the red and it's called Cinnamon and then I layered it with Carla's flower trim and it says I like you a latte and that's again from that um, coffee stamp set that I got from Joann's and then I layered a bunch of again the Michaels picks on top of um, one another on this side. Super, super fun to make. Um, I'm excited to make a mini album because I have pictures of Arlene and I when we had gone to um, see, um, I think it was Eclipse together. We took some pictures and so I'm going to make a mini of that. And I'm really happy with how these turn out. I will have some of these kits available on my blog. Um, you will get a total of six of these, so you can make six of these, and then you will get two each of the lids, and then you will get six of these um, sleeves in a really um, nice thick craft card stock. The first ten kits will have design paper from all these three collections, and the papers will vary. Um, and then I'm also going to add some um, picks also on those 10 kits. I will also sell these die cuts separate as well. Um, but um, for the first 10 that purchase, I will add the paper and um, the embellishments. Um, not, a, not to cover all six of the cups though, but I will add a little bit, a goodie bag of some of these Michael's um, pick embellishments as a little thank you. So again, those will be for the first 10 that purchase the kit. And then I will have the die cuts, just the die cuts alone, available to purchase as well. So thank you everyone for watching. Bye.